right, how's it going guys? Today we are back and this is my 2008 Volkswagen MK5 GTI. And before I get started, sorry about my hideous winter rims. Believe it or not, it has been snowing so much and then melting and snowing and melting that I just don't want to take the risk of crashing. So for now, I have my snow rims with steelies on. However, the person who did purchase this vehicle did buy the alloy rim upgrade. So I will have that on hopefully the next couple weeks, hopefully it stops snowing. But yeah, so I've been looking for an MK5 GTI for the past couple months now. Well, I've been looking for specifically like a hatchback four door because I just need more space and my old Civic SI Coupe just didn't quite have it. And this car is excellent for just that. So with this being a German car, it requires more maintenance. For example, I just had my Honda Civic Coupe. With that car, you know, you just have to do your basic oil changes, you do your spark plugs every now and then, and that thing is running fine. However, with German cars, you do need more. So when I was looking to purchase one, I really wanted one with the good maintenance records that had a really clean title and had no mods. That may not sound so difficult, but that definitely was a very difficult task. So I test drove a bunch of them, all of them having either an APR stage one, which is fine. I was gonna allow that. Or they had really spotty maintenance records. There was no in between until I found this one. So at first glance, I was going over Kijiji and Auto Trader. I ran into this car. It didn't look too special. It just looked like their your ordinary GTI uh, posting, I guess. However, one thing did stick out. So I purchased this car from the original owner who purchased it in 2008. The ad was basically just like, you know, your stereotypical ad. It just said, maintenance done, uh, good condition, um, manual transmission, I guess, and lady driven. And they did emphasize that, which really did intrigue me a little bit because let's be honest here, I'd rather purchase a car from a mature female than you know a 17 year old high school student who obviously beat on it. So with that being said, I made sure to get on that. I called her up, I said, hey, can we get this for inspection? And if so, if everything goes well, I will buy your car. So we lined that up, we got the inspection, it passed with flying colors. They couldn't find one thing wrong. They did, they did the whole mechanical inspection, turned out great. So I said, yeah, like sounds good, Like let's make a deal. We arranged a date for pickup later that week and the rest was history. But one thing definitely did stick out with this car and as I read the maintenance records, I was blown away. And here's just some of the maintenance records. So this isn't even all the maintenance records, but she had a very detailed folder with notes on every single thing that has happened to this vehicle. I don't wanna really show it because I know a lot of her personal information's on it, but I have not once in my life seen this much detail and maintenance records. Like this is just unbelievable. Um, there's so many ridiculous ones that I just could not believe. Like for example, I will try to find it, <laughs> but well, first of all, she did her timing belt. Here it is. Um, she did her timing belt and she did it about 40,000 kilometers early before the recommended, even just recommended inspection date. Keep that in mind. And she paid and she paid $1,500 to get that done at a Volkswagen dealership, just outrageous. Um, I don't know exactly where it is, but one of the documents I found, and actually her niece told me, was that she spent over $400 because a co-op, like so one of the gas attendants actually pumped regular gas into her car. And so she spent $400 rushing to Volkswagen to get them to pump out the gas tank and put in premium. That is a level of, of caring that I want in every vehicle that I own. Just like insanely detailed maintenance reports. So not only that, but she got this car detailed at Volkswagen, it, it, and that's not even cheap. I think it's about three to $400. She got it detailed every two months at Volkswagen. Like I can't even afford to do that once a year, let alone, you know, six times a year. Like, <laughs> what, are you kidding me? Um, yeah, just, just insane, insane. Maintenance records. I just I can't even believe it. Um, there's so many things where if any if she feels like anything is wrong with the car, she brought it into Volkswagen to get them to fix it on the spot. I I just I can't believe it. And this isn't even all of it. This is only some of it. And not only that, she took detailed notes on what happened during those days where she brought it in. Who does that? I respect I respect this woman. I respect that. She loves her car. She loves her car. Whoa, whoa. You gotta respect that. She loves her cars. This car has the best maintenance records I have ever seen in my life. 
And after seeing like her whole maintenance records, I was just blown away. I was super ecstatic to finally get this car and see what it's all about. And it really made me confident that I didn't buy a lemon like my WRX and well, knock on wood. And so with that being said, like I really do believe that this is the best, I, let me clarify this, it's, it's not necessarily the, the best condition GTI Mark V in the country, but it was the best one for sale in the country, hands down. And I also got it for a really great price. So there was technically two owners though. So technically, an uh, older female purchased the vehicle in 2008, owned it for about eight or nine years, and she actually gave it to her niece. Um, so there technically was two owners. I'm considering it one owner, let's be honest. She gave it to her niece, which her niece only drove it for about 10,000 kilometers at the very end, where she's now going to grad school, so she had to sell it because she's going to grad school in the States. Overall, I am very, very excited to, to make future videos on this. I've just been super, super excited. Um, sorry if I didn't get this video up fast enough. I've been trying, I really have been trying, but it has been snowing. What the heck, man? Are, are you serious? And you know, the environment just doesn't want me to make this video. In fact, it actually just started snowing today and it was hailing and I was like, dang it, are you, am I seriously not gonna be able to make this video again? But I found a spot in the day where there's no snow, so hopefully it turns out all right. But as for the overview of the car, this is the 2008 Mark V GTI. It does have the FSI engine. Unfortunately, I really wish it did have the TSI, but we'll make it work. It has approximately 70,000 miles on it, which is pretty low considering the age of the car. Uh, 70,000 translates approximately to 130,000 kilometers, but it has 100. I want to make this clear because on my WRX video, a lot of you guys didn't understand that, which is fine. Um, this has 70,000 miles. It says 130,000 kilometers, but that translates to 70,000 miles. So many people in my WRX video is like, you bought a car with 200,000 miles, what do you expect? But 200,000 miles really translates to, you know, 100. 30,000 miles. There's a big difference. The interior is in immaculate condition. Just really great condition. She opted for the upgraded leather interior. I would really I would have really liked, you know, the OG Golf interior, but I guess the leather will do. She also opted for the technology package which did include the dual zone climate control, which is pretty cool because usually me and my girlfriend have very different temperature controls. So now we get our own temperature temperature controls for the first time. And overall, the interior is in fantastic condition. Literally, I cannot find one single thing wrong. The leather is still in great condition. The, all the plastics, there's no rattles. It is in awesome condition. As for the exterior though, so of course I do live in Alberta, Canada, which means there's a lot of flat roads, a lot of, a lot of highways, a lot of truckers. With that being said, this car is still in fantastic condition. Very minimal rock chips compared, com compared to other vehicles from this era. So as for the body, it doesn't have any rust on it whatsoever. Um, very minimal rust, very minimal rock chips. No dents, no, no actual scuffs. It does have a couple of tiny scuffs, but no actual major scuffs. The only one thing I could find wrong on the exterior is it does have a tiny bit of flake of, of, the, of the middle sill. I'll show a pan of it right now. Chipping away, but that is the only thing wrong I could find with the whole exterior. And from the inspection, they couldn't find anything. And I'm very excited that I got this car. The turbo has just been a blast. I miss my turbo vehicles. I miss my WRX. So, so far, and also the two turbo vehicles I have had have both been like the same colors. So that's kind of weird. It does have the fog lights. I'm, I'm pretty sure that is upgrade right there. It has the sunroof and it is awesome. It also has the four doors which I do like this, the look of the coupe more, but with me having a puppy now, who's gonna be a big dog, the four doors is definitely gonna be great for him. He gets his own window, he can, he can uh, hold his head out of the window, like the stereotypical golden retriever. But overall guys, I'm very excited for this project. Um, I'm really looking forward to making future videos. I will be making a first impressions video soon, however I will do a little test drive in this video. And then in about a month or two, I will be doing a full comprehensive review. I like to kind of give myself a couple months to really understand the vehicle before I review. So that's my reasoning there. But yeah, guys, let's go for a ride. All right, guys, we're taking off. Just gonna do a quick little drive. I'm gonna do my pre-first impressions in this last segment of the video. I would get my first impressions in this video. However, I have not really been able to drive it because of the snow. Um, when I purchased the car, 
it was nice out, perfectly nice out. However, the night after, it just dumped snow. And when I say dump, I'm sure I showed it previously in this video, but it snowed so hard, I have never seen a blizzard that bad just come out of nowhere and then instantly melt. So I will have a better, more improved first impressions video hopefully in the next week or so, when I can actually do some more driving. But from what I will say, from highway driving for the most part I guess, is that this car is fantastic. So far it seems so fuel efficient. So I've currently I've gone about 300 kilometers, I'll put the translation up right now for miles. The translation, the conversion I guess. And I have not even come close to half a tank. So I'm guessing on the highway this car can come close to about 800 kilometers which is just awesome. The turbo is just super fun and peppy. It's definitely a really quick car. It definitely has some, it definitely has a really great fun factor, which is again, one of the most important things in my opinion when looking for a car. The handling, I will say, has been, a, I don't, it's kind of hard to give you my first impressions, but the handling has felt a little bit more, I guess, airy um, compared to the Civic Si. But I, with that being said, it is definitely a way better ride. So there's some trade-offs now and then, but you know what I mean. So kind of a funny story. So I have been wanting a GTI for the longest time. It's always been on my bucket list. I've always been a huge GTI fan. However, I'm not very familiar with the whole GTI scene yet, but I'm very excited to obviously get in the scene and, and learn, learn more about the history and culture. But I've always wanted a GTI and it started from when I was in high school. I think I was 16 or 17. I had just bought my Honda Prelude. I think I, I think it was the day I bought it. I was at a red light and a guy in a Mark V GTI pulls up beside me. I think he had a he had an APR stage two and full bolt-ons from, from what I seen. I had a short conversation with him at the stoplight, but he challenged me to a race and I was in my 1998 Honda Prelude. Of course I upset. Of course I accepted, I was in high school. And when you're in high school, you, you accept every race you can, you can get. <laughs> but he obviously whooped my ass really bad with that probably 270 horsepower at that point with the stage two. And man, I thought, wow, that I, I never really thought about GTS at the end, up until that point. And I, th I thought to myself, wow, that seems like a really great car. It's just been a little bit out of my price range every time I've went to go buy a car or else I've been wanting one on my bucket list for the longest time. And I'll just do a quick poll for you guys. <laughs> oh. The turbo in this car is, is so much different than a WRX turbo. I will say that much. It has a lot more linear power, whereas the WRX is a lot more dramatic. This is like the most stereotypical thing, I guess the most, most cliche thing, but this car is, is what you say, mature. <laughs> Compared to a WRX at least. We'll do another. Man, God. I just love turbo vehicles so much. So much, they're just so fun. And when I get that APR stage one tune, it drastically changes this car, like drastically. I test drove a bunch of the APR stage ones and it was a big difference. So it was kind of sad going to a stock GTI with no tune, but now I'm excited to know that my car was not as molested as those with the stage one. And also it is open for me to get that tune. So super excited for that. And if you guys have any mod suggestions down below, definitely tell me. I would appreciate it. Here, we'll go with uh, one with the window down, see if that... Man, I already love this car. I'm already in love. But yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to press subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, we're just over 1,300 subscribers and I am really appreciating all the feedback and support. I, I say this all the time, but it really does mean a lot. It, it, it motivates me to get my butt out of bed or not in bed, but use my spare time more wisely and make more videos. And I'm really just looking forward to the future of this channel and make it a lot more content in the car industry.
excited to pick up this car. It's like I said, it's been a, a car I've always wanted to own. With that being said, thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the future content of this vehicle.